Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Libra November 25, 2022. Today's new moon energizes a need to start fresh in a partnership or with a relationship. Your vision for your relationship needs is forming, and it's spectacular now. Someone can inspire you to pursue a dream. The desire or need to cooperate and merge with others is strong. Starting fresh in a relationship can involve taking on a new attitude or gathering the courage to make something happen. It's a time to open your heart to new possibilities, particularly regarding your close relationships, life path, career, or status. Energy levels seem to depend on your motivation and sense that you're doing something meaningful. It's a time to consider how to best balance your needs with those of another. It's also about establishing a sense of balance in your life in general, particularly if you've been overdoing in a particular area of life. Being agreeable without compromising your integrity can be a goal now. You are especially companionable during this cycle. Get ready for one of the most important periods for your relationships. You could soon be or already are dancing with a twin flame. A new moon in your solar seventh house of partnership has arrived, opening the door to making long-term plans, commitments, or promises. This could be an auspicious period to decide to move in, get engaged, or even be wed. However, if you discuss this, it might be a good idea to wait to follow through with it completely until January when Mars awakens. If single, use this lunation to align with people who are looking for something serious. Positive possibilities are heading your way. As the new moon in Sagittarius joyfully looks toward the future, you should set the intention to bring in expansive, abundant commitments and relationships. Your next six months will encourage you to take a leap of faith with your professional agreements. Given that Jupiter will also station direct in Pisces today, you may feel notably optimistic about the trajectory of your career path. Both transits may allude to how your commitments may influence your status, accomplishments, and legacy. Manifest fortuitous connections during this lunar chapter. With the money god set to put even more focus on the side of the financial fence where it is more about what you do with and how you manage the money you have the other side of the financial fence is getting a boost from what is happening professionally. It is support from the moon that is giving both job and career matters a boost as Jupiter turns direct, something that income potential can hitch a ride on. You could feel overly sensitive today. Try not to beat yourself up with your melancholy. You may be tempted to drown your sorrows in a big tub of ice cream, but you know this will ultimately make you feel worse. Consider putting on some relaxing music and getting down on the floor, gently stretching out your muscles. Try to make this into a personal routine and stick to it for a few weeks. You'll be glad you did. You're sure to enjoy the vibration of this day. Your interests are likely to be of a social and fun nature. You can expect to really enjoy any contact you have throughout the day, and if meetings are on your agenda, you're sure to flourish. Your ability to express yourself is a real asset when it comes to group communication. Seize the opportunity to make progress in your career. Share your thoughts and ideas openly and freely with those you encounter. Two days after the sun left your work sector, ending all planetary activity for the year, the moon is spending its final hours here at a friendly aspect to Jupiter, just as the planet of luck and expansion is about to turn direct. As well as tying up loose ends on the job front, this allows both job and career matters to ride the wave that Jupiter's direct turn will create. Meanwhile, it is the moon's return to your relationship sector that will do the same on the relationship front, aligning with the sun to create a new moon. Two days after the sun's return to your relationship sector and while Venus and Mercury, the planets of love and communication still aligned, they are joined by the moon as well as a chance to become more emotionally engaged, within 90 minutes an alignment with the sun will create a new moon that makes this a day for new beginnings and for looking to the future. Our eyes in the sky. There is a strong mix of energies and elements today. The fun new moon in Sagittarius adds strong emotional energy throughout the day. 
You might experience moments of precognition or deja vu at various times. The fiery Sagittarius energy can feel a little raw to many people. It can bring out truths that we're not quite ready to hear, so be extremely gentle with yourself. Research ways in which you can make your workplace more environmentally sound. Are there recycling bins available for paper, plastic, and aluminum? Simple things like this can make a huge difference. Ask others for advice on these matters. This is a good day to work on getting your spiritual self in balance. Be sure to pay attention to your spiritual body. During the week you have so much attention on your mental and emotional self that you forget to nurture your true spirit. You have a good perspective from where you are sitting at the current time. You understand where you are and where you would like to go. Not everyone around you supports your ultimate dream. You may want to move these people out of your life. On the positive side, Jupiter turns direct today after being retrograde since July 28th. This infuses the collective with a strong feeling of generosity and empathy, which can be extra special for those who focus on helping others. There is a feeling of universal love washing over you and helping you see the bigger picture of your life. This is an important day to tell someone you love them, whether romantically or platonically. Mid-morning, the Scorpio moon trines Jupiter in Pisces, helping us to attract growth opportunities. Exercising discernment and trusting our intuition puts us in touch with serendipity, opening doors through chance connections or established friendships. This is also a time when our spirituality or religious convictions come into play. Use the morning to deepen esoteric studies or flex intuitive skill sets. The moon then enters a short void of course lasting roughly two hours. You are wearing your heart on your sleeve and others know what you are thinking just by looking at your face. For this reason, there is no sense in hiding the emotions you have that are surrounding your work. Put everything out on the table. Pay attention to the advice coming to you from your siblings or people who act like siblings in your life. These folks know you well and they have much to say about the scope of your career. They can see things about your work that you are unable to. If you are experiencing a bit of turmoil in your relationship at the moment, don't always automatically assume your partner is responsible for it. Make sure not to put your personal stress or the stress from your professional life on your partner. Go and create a shared oasis of serenity and calmness and take time for each other. In this way you will bring about a return of positive excitement in your relationship. Be careful with your health and avoid pushing yourself too far. Circumstances sometimes result in greater difficulties arising than you might expect, and for this reason you need to save and ration your energy. Take a step back, don't get unduly stressed, being too ambitious doesn't help you achieve your goal. Afternoon, the moon enters Sagittarius, ending its void of course. We are now on the cusp of the Sagittarius new moon, and over the next two days, we are in the midst of this expansive, idealistic, fiery energy. Optimism can be our saving grace as well as our downfall. Don't expect to take shortcuts in your journey of self-discovery. Trust the process.